Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be once again talking about the dual sword, dual wield setup on the fighter class. There were some actually really good changes for this setup and even without them I loved it before playtest 5. I just want to talk a little bit about the perks, the gear, some of the weapon options, and a lot of you guys have been asking about combos, so we'll get there. This all started what feels like quite a while ago now with a video just with me using two small swords and it had nothing to do with dual sword or dual wield. I just kind of showed off a cool clip and then it turned into a dual sword fighter in a thumbnail and everyone was asking like hundreds of questions about what's the reasoning, why even bother, and so I decided to make a, a video explaining everything I could, which is still probably one of my most popular videos. More recently I got torch dual wield because they've added the torch as its own weapon so it counts alongside dual wield and a new perk which is the slayer perk. This perk is huge early because it gives you that five extra damage and then in combination with adrenaline rush changes dual wield fighter is probably the best it's ever been and i get it you longsword people are going to tell me longsword's way better and yeah i fully agree longsword's incredible but try longsword adrenaline rush and just see how much more fun you have <laughs> Changes to Adrenaline Rush have made it incredible, no longer being a single-use ability and being just a 28-second cooldown. That alone changed Adrenaline Rush from being just an okay perk to a perk you can pretty much use on any weapon and have a hilarious amount of fun, which I do quite often. Originally, I would use Adrenaline Rush alongside Dual Wield because Dual Wield would actually give you the 15% attack speed, negating a lot of the Adrenaline Rush side effects. So, that was how I comboed it, and I was pretty successful doing that. Now things are way easier. You can combo it with Slayer, you can combo dual wield with uh, combo attack, and now the perk options are just way more improved. So talking a little bit about perks and some of the options, I'm just going to kind of slow this one down a little bit so you guys can see what I generally run for a setup. Now this is where I'm using a Morningstar, so I need weapon mastery. Not super recommended, but it does the trick. And crossbows are becoming increasingly hard to find, so Which we already have. I found myself using weapon mastery a lot more than I would have liked. That being said, if you can throw in Slayer or projectile reduction on top of dual wield and combo attack, and we'll try to use that. kind of the way I would be going. Okay. That being said, weapon mastery does open up every weapon in the game, and like you just saw there, and like you're seeing oh, here, I'm here. I'm actually using a rondel as a primary because it gives you only a minus 10 movement speed penalty. So here. in combination with adrenaline rush, you're just incredibly fast. And I have done this before with short sword, an older video. And honestly, short sword has been my preferred combo with any weapon I've been using in dual sword. So moving on for a few seconds here to talk about some of the gear. This is just a picture of exactly what I like to use. Obviously with Slayer and Weapon Master, you can kind of mix and match. Like I said earlier, I do prefer having a crossbow so I don't have to take weapon mastery. And I also prefer having a kettle hat. However, when you're using Slayer, which I think is probably your best option early, you have to go with the leather cap and just to keep some of that damage reduction from headshots down. I do like having plate helmets because of that damage reduction. However, the five extra damage from Slayer is also very valuable. So I'll leave that one up to you guys. Obviously, I would take boots if I had them, but apparently I didn't in this run. The other thing to consider is I take those leather leggings and the kettle hat because they have a little bit of magic resist. So now quickly moving on to some weapon options. I've tried a ton of these and I will get into some of the combo attacks and stuff that I prefer. As fun as it is to smash uh, clerics with their own weapons, strike, I think. either the Morningstar or the Mace, it's not really my preferred choice. <laughs> he hit this. Oh no. Horseman's Axe also kind of has its place. This is not good. Spear. Allows you to get in real close and just chop basically headshots right. down like crazy once you That's press Adrenaline it. Rush. Adrenaline Rush on this thing. Look at that. That's insane. It's absolutely absurd. Crazy. So yeah, basically I've tried a lot of weapons and I was so addicted to dual sword and dual wield. I even tried it on the Barbarian, which, I mean, you can do a heavy amount of damage quickly by comboing both swings, essentially just holding down your left mouse button and your right mouse button. I think it works a little better on the Barb because he's basically a W character anyway, where you just hold W key and walk towards your enemies. Now, when you start getting into kind of these matchups with the fighter class, Arming Sword has always been my favorite. You'll see here, it's just, it's so clean, and you can space yourself so well with the distances. 
So I usually just rely heavily on the swing pattern for the arming sword because it's so nice. Now I will show some examples of where this doesn't really apply. But I just generally overall, I love the arming sword. Especially with 15% attack speed and then another 20, 25 on top of that. So when you start to get into trouble, and if uh, a lot of you guys watch my old videos, Falchion was actually an amazing one as well. With a little bit more reach. Like right here, I pop Adrenaline Rush and try to keep the guy just at the edge, but... Honestly, we're both just swinging like fools. I get a little lucky and catch him a couple times at the end of my Falchion. Falchion's super strong. But the reason why I love Short Sword with Falchion is exactly this. You can get in close. Don't have to worry about hitting walls. And you can finish a lot of guys off with your Falchion if you need to at the end. So, if you're gonna combo attacks, I like to pick and choose when I'm using one or the other. I don't like just holding both down. This doesn't really work as successfully as I'd like. And I think the best option for that, and the best example I can give you, where holding them down might be successful is using the arming and the short sword. And now look, this is all preference and basically whatever you're comfortable using and whatever weapon pattern you know. This is just the weapon patterns that I know really well, so I stick with them. Which is arming sword, short sword, or falchion, and short sword. I just find the short sword has a really nice animation on its attacks and can clean up kills in close. The attack speed on, with Adrenaline Rush makes it really ridiculous. And this hasn't really changed since last play test. It's just now you have Adrenaline Rush and you can basically deal more damage over course of the whole entire dungeon run. This is an old video which I'm going to show you guys because it's a pretty good example of arming plus short sword where I'm switching between the two. I will slow this down after. But essentially, I start with the arming. So that's my left click. And I don't want to use the third attack, so I switch to the short sword. And one guy's gone already. And then this guy gets super close, so I'm trying to catch him with the first two swings of the arming, but he, I'm just switching to the short sword because it's a little better up close. I end up catching both of them with the arming there, and then switch back to short sword and back to arming. So, it's really chaotic and it's something you gotta like kind of just play with. And it's just, this setup is the one I'm most comfortable with. I'm not saying it's the best, I'm not saying other options aren't amazing as well. I'm just saying for me personally, I've loved the arming sword and I love the short sword. And this here is another example from last playtest where you get the blue hands from Adrenaline Rush. You get in close, which is really hard to see. But basically the short sword is what's doing the damage. The only issue with this setup is it costs a lot more money. Because you're kind of investing in two good weapons, rather than just using one. I mean, even in my Gladiator series, I'm going to be forced, eventually, it's kind of a sneak peek, to use some really terrible weapons, because that's all I have. So the fighter class is just incredible at being able to use whatever you like. It's not like I'm sitting here telling you guys you have to use this or that. You can find a weapon that you're comfortable with, or the swing pattern is really, really good, or at least you think it's been really effective for how you like to play, and run it. I'm not saying use the Chris Dagger here, I'm just saying with Adrenaline Rush and, uh, you know, some decent movement, you can almost make any weapon kind of work for you. So, use what you like, honestly. It's hilarious watching these weapons swing, like, you know, 40% faster than what they're supposed to be swinging at, so. It's, uh, it's a fun time, and I welcome anyone to try out Dual Sword Fighter or Dual Sword anything in the next playtest. So I tried to make this one a little bit quicker. There is still a lot of information I didn't go over that's in the Dual Sword Starter Guide and some of my other videos. You can watch them if you want examples. But I kind of want to just talk about some of the new changes and I had a lot of people asking questions about combos and weapons and combo attacks. It's just way too much time to practice every single weapon combination and how it fits together with another weapon. So I implore you guys to go try that and uh, get back to me. What you find, what you like. That's up to you guys. Hopefully we'll get a chance to try these out. And uh, maybe we'll see some more changes for the fighter class in terms of dual wield. I don't know, right now I think it's in a pretty good spot, so I'm okay with it. Leave it how it is, I'm perfectly happy, and also happy with all the support. So thank you all, and see you next time.